thank you for your interest in the Ohio Pollinator Habitat Initiative's statewide effort to collect common milkweed seeds. Your involvement will help establish new pollinator habitat in areas all across Ohio, which will provide critical habitat for monarch butterflies and, of course, many other species of pollinating insects as well. As you know, Ohio is an important area, or maybe you didn't know, but Ohio is, Ohio is definitely an important area for monarchs because the adult butterflies that pass through Ohio each fall on their way to Mexico will be the ones who reproduce next spring. My name is Colleen Sharkey, and I am a volunteer for the Ohio Pollinator Habitat Initiative. And this webinar will explain the collection process of common milkweed seed pods happening now through October 30th, 2016. We invite anyone in Ohio to get involved, so please feel free to share this webinar with others. We'll go through some frequently asked questions that have come up, hopefully help explain the collection process and where to go for more information. So first up, what type of seed is OP High collecting? So we are collecting only one species of milkweed for this project, and that's common milkweed. And so I have it pictured here. Well, it's in flower, um, but right now, this season, of course, it looks different. Those flowers have already been pollinated, and the seeds are developing. And let's take a look at what the seed pods look like. So here's a picture of unripe or immature seed pods. They're kind of still that bright green color. And we don't want any seed pods to be collected at this point. Um, so what we're going to go through is, is take a look at what it looks like when you should collect it. So to help make sure that you have the correct species of milkweed, maybe scope out the, the site first. Um, take a look at, at the leaves. Here are the common milkweed leaves. And if we look at swamp milkweed, swamp milkweed has a little bit more narrow, a little bit more pointed leaves. So we are not interested in collecting swamp milkweed for this project this year, just to keep things simple. And so this is a picture of the pods. If you're looking at common milkweed, they'll be a little bit larger, a little bit more bulbous in shape, and swamp milkweed is a little bit more narrow, a smaller pod in general. Another species that you might confuse with common milkweed is dogbane, um, but the seed pods are much smaller. So if, if you're looking at seed pods, they're going to be this very narrow, brownish, um, you know, kind of stringy seed pods as opposed to those larger bulbous um, common milkweed seed pods. So the next question we get a lot is where should I collect common milkweed seed pods if you're going to join in this effort? So you can collect um, the seed pods on private property if you have permission from the landowner. Um, so let's say that you have a neighbor or you've noticed a farm that you drive by frequently. Um, if you're able to actu actually you know, reach out and get permission to collect the seed pods, um, then that's a great place to collect them. Um, maybe just if you're working with someone that, um, you know, if you're talking to a farmer or a neighbor or a gardener, let them know that the seed pods must be mature, and just if they're agreeing to this for you to collect them, um, see if they could wait to mow um, their stand of milkweed down until you've actually collected and harvested the mature seed pods, which might take a little while. It might take a couple more weeks for that to happen. So any, anywhere you might see them, if it, if it looks like somewhere and you know the person or you have a connection, just reach out, tell them about the project, um, and see if they're interested in sharing. Another question we have been getting is how will I know if the seed pods are ready to pick? And this is pretty important. Um, if we pick them too early, um, there's a good chance the seeds won't be viable. It's best for the seeds to actually mature on the plant itself. Um, so what we've been suggesting is to go ahead and, and you know, keep your eye on that stand that you're planning to collect from and just periodically check. And once the seed pods start turning this golden brown yellowish color, or they might look a little gray, depending on conditions, that's when they're starting to mature. Um, and that's just kind of another way to say it. So you're looking for yellow to gold um, to brown or gray when mature, not that green color. And here's some tips for collecting. 
First of all, you want to make sure that you do not collect milkweed pods that are already open. Um, they may have been infested by insects, which could affect the viability of seed. And when the seed or when the pods appear ready, you can go ahead and test that seam where you saw that picture where it's kind of cracked down the middle. If you put a finger and thumb kind of at each end on the long ends of the seed pod and give a little bit of gentle pressure, that seam might pop open. And if it does, then they're ready. You go ahead and pick it then. And as you're collecting, please use paper bags, not plastic. Paper bags will allow the seeds to breathe a little bit, and plastic encourages mold um, and mildew to collect. So we want to prevent that by placing them in paper sacks. So another question we've been getting, oh, by the way, these are, these are very, these look good. These are kind of that gray color we were talking about, so they might look gray instead of brown. But the question is, why is the collection season September 1st to October 30th? Um, because, of course, you might have some milkweed pods that are nowhere near ready on September 1st. Um, but the reason we picked that large window is because Ohio is a pretty ecologically diverse state. So common milkweed seed pods will mature at different times throughout the state, depending on the location and environmental conditions at the site you might be looking at. So we just tried to give ourselves a little bit of leeway. It doesn't mean that we're collecting any and all seeds whenever you really have to kind of be aware of when the seeds, seed pods are, are mature and ready to be picked. Okay, so another question, where do I deliver my common milkweed pods? So the city, or the, sorry, the counties that you see in green here um, are counties that have soil and water conservation district offices that have agreed to be a collection site. Um, so take a look there. There's just a few counties um, that we don't have that partnership established yet. Um, so hopefully you have a county nearby um, where you can go ahead and, and reach out to that, that county's um, Soil and Water Conservation District office to drop off your pods. And each of those partners um, that you saw in the green counties will have a collection container that looks like this. But of course, please look for the um, Ohio Pollinator Habitat Initiative label, which should be right on top um, or on the side. Um, so the bin will be there at the Soil and Water Conservation District office. And if you could place your paper bag of milkweed pods inside this collection container, that would be wonderful. And another thing we're trying to work with, the, um, with those offices to see if the bins do get filled up, um, if somebody at that office could make some room and, and set the other seeds aside, um, we can work with them to kind of try to figure that out because we do anticipate there's a possibility these bins will fill up before they can be collected. So we'll help work with you guys to figure that out. Basically, anywhere that um, you could put the seeds where um, they would stay dry and kind of out of the rain and the elements would be a good place to store them until someone can come pick them up. As you're, before you're putting your bag in the collection bin, please put the date and the county where the seeds were collected from on the, on the pack and just drop it right in. And just be aware that we're trying to get all of the seed pods in these bins by October 30th. So please be mindful and plan for that. The next question is, what will happen to the common milkweed seed pods that have been delivered? Um, so after they've been dropped off, private land biologists from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and possibly even some of the Soil and Water Conservation District staff will be able to figure out a way to deliver them to the nearest processing site. Um, and these are just some pictures from last year. Processing sites are going to include some of our partnering correctional institutions in counties across Ohio that have agreed to be involved with this project. Once the, pro the pods have been processed at, the, at these facilities and the, the actual that white fluff or the comas are removed, then the seeds will be picked up by the Ohio Department of Transportation and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and delivered to the Ohio Department of Agriculture to go through the stratification process. And that's just that process of kind of breaking down the seed coat um, out of nature. That happens naturally because the seeds, you know, kind of drop in the fall and they go through the winterizing process that kind of moisture and thawing um, will help germinate the seeds, but there are ways that we can process those seeds and stratify them um, kind of in our own locations or our own facilities. Once the seeds have been stratified, we'll send them to the correctional facilities that have an actual horticulture program and that have agreed to participate. 
as well as Wright State University and Ohio State University and the Cincinnati Nature Center have also agreed to help grow plugs with the stratified seed. Um, and then those seeds will be kind of shared with statewide initiative project, uh, projects going on. There will also be some seed that will not be stratified and will be put into seed packets to be shared for people that are planting in the fall so that those seeds can go through those natural um, stratification processes outside. And soil and water conservation districts will also receive milkweed plant plugs and seed alloc allocated to them for their efforts in this project. Let's see. So these are just a couple um, pictures of projects that are already happening. Um, the one on the left that you see is a, is a partnership with Ohio Department of Transportation, and there's just a strip of pollinator habitat kind of between the roadway and a farm field, and same thing in the picture on the right as well. So that's, that's the purpose of why we're doing this. All of the seed collected will be used to establish new plantings to create additional habitat for monarch butterflies and other pollinators all across Ohio. So again, we just want to thank you so much for your opportunity and your willingness um, to help us with this project. To find the location of your soil and water conservation district, I have a link here, um, and we can also post this on the website. And then if you're interested in reaching out to someone with further questions about this, this initiative, please reach out to Marcy, Jeff, or Robert, and their emails are listed right there at the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much, and enjoy. Happy collecting.